Good morning guys, so welcome to Munich, the second biggest city in Germany. So this is my first time in this city, I have never been to Munich. I have been to Berlin before and Frankfurt, but I've never been to um, this city. So I'm actually staying very near here, uh, my Airbnb is like one block from here. Uh, now this area is a little bit far from the historic center. Uh, but I don't mind because you know the historic center is very expensive So if you want to stay in the historic center of Munich uh, get ready to spend a lot of money because it's very very expensive So I didn't want to spend that much money on accommodation So I decided to stay in this hotel the hotel is very nice I have really liked it There is a gym right in the corner where I have been working out and I have really liked that gym a lot There's also a grocery store very nearby. It's very big I think it's one of the most popular grocery store here in Europe because I've seen it all over Europe. Also, uh, there's a subway station very near. Actually, I'm walking there. Uh, it's like five minute walk from the hotel. So, you know, you can just grab the subway and then like five stations later, you are in the historic center. So I feel like this is a great option if you don't want to spend too much money in accommodation. So, well, as I mentioned before, this is my first time here in Munich and I can't wait to see this city. I wanted to come here for a very long time, so I'm finally here and I'm very excited. So now I'm going to go to the historic center and see how it looks like. Uh, today it's nice, it's kind of sunny. I mean, it's not like warm, but I mean, at least it's nicer. Like yesterday it was very cloudy and it was horrible. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the historic center of Munich and see what this city has to offer. Alright guys, so now we are in one of the most famous landmarks here in Munich. It's called Frauenkirchen. The Cathedral Church of Our Lady, also known as the Frauenkirche, is the most famous church in Munich and its two towers are pretty much the symbols of the city. It was erected by the Munich-based architect and master builder Jo von Halfach in the 15th century. Apart from the top of the two towers, the building was completed in 1488 after just 20 years of construction work. Right here, as you can see, this is one of the main uh, shopping streets in Munich. I love this street. There's like so many like nice uh, shops all the way here. Alright guys, we are in the main square of Munich, one of the most famous buildings in the city actually is behind me. Ta -da! Wow, this building is called um, the New Town Hall and this square is called uh, Marienplatz and it's one of my favorite spots here in the city, it looks so beautiful, look at that. And actually we're lucky because today it was supposed to be snowing and it's really really nice, actually it's kind of sunny as you can see the sky is quite nice so if you want to see Munich in all its glory and see like a very nice uh, viewpoint there's actually a very nice church very near here which is called St. Peter's Church uh, and they have a very nice view of the city you can see the new town the old town and you can see all Munich the view from there is absolutely amazing I highly recommend that place it's really really nice This is called the Munich Residence and it is by far my favorite attraction in the city. It is actually the largest city palace in Germany and this place served as the seat of government and residence of the Bavarian dukes, electors and kings from 1508 till 1918. 
Most of the residence was destroyed during World War II, and from 1945 it was gradually reconstructed. As you can see, this place is absolutely beautiful. If you are visiting Munich, I highly recommend that you come here. The entrance costs 9 euros and the building is pretty big, so it will take you around 2 hours to explore it. So we are in a restaurant called Ratzkeller here in the center of the city. But Munich is famous for having very good beer, so I am going to try this local beer. We asked which one like the speciality of this place, so they told us this was like a good one. So I actually don't like beer that much, so let's see how it tastes like. Mm. <laughs> it's very strong. And they gave us this pretzels this is also very very German you see pretzels all over the city so I am gonna try a very typical food a German food so I ordered this dish it has potatoes it has like a really big piece of meat and oh this is hard I think it's gonna be very chewy mm. I'm actually shocked because it's really good I wasn't expecting German food to be so good. So we are celebrating Chase's birthday, today Yay. his birthday, and we are eating in this beautiful restaurant. Everything looks so delicious. Prost! <laughs> I'll make a wish! <laughs> The building you are about to see is definitely one of the most famous and beautiful attractions in Munich. Oh my god, this place is absolutely magical. It's called the Nymphenburg Palace and is one of the premier royal palaces in Europe. Uh, this building served as the main summer residence of the former rulers of Bavaria. Its construction began in 1664 and it was finished in 1675. The entrance cost 8 euros and there are audio guides available in over 15 languages for only 3 euros. Okay guys, we are finished. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video about Munich, Germany. If you are visiting this city, I hope this video helped you out. Also, if you found this video entertaining, uh, please help out with a thumbs up. It helps the channel grow. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys on my next video. Take care and stay healthy.